Here's a problem involving supply and demand curves. We're looking for the equilibrium point, so we need to know the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price. So let's start an instance of GeoGebra and ask GeoGebra to graph those two curves. Traditionally, the quantity is plotted on the x-axis and the price is, is plotted on the y-axis. So transforming this equation, where x will represent q and y will, will represent the price. So that equation becomes y is equal to 273 minus 1 sixth x. Now we need to adjust this scale because this is the y-intercept is 273. So I'm going to grab hold of this axis and pull it down and slide the graph over a little bit and maybe squeeze up this, squeeze up the x-axis. Slope of a negative one-sixth. And the other curve is y is equal to one-seventh times x. So, there you have it. Let me move things out of the way a little bit. So what we're looking for then is this point right here. Graphically, we can see that that point is around maybe 900 or something like that in the for the Q value, for the quantity, and around 100 and maybe 25 for the X value. A graphical solution is not a powerful solution because it all depends on how accurately we can identify that point. So we need to come up with a way to solve that system of equations, those two equations. So we'll use substitution or elimination or some other method to find out the equilibrium quantity, which is the x value, and the equilibrium price, which is the y value. 